guys, uh, Mitch and I were here doing a 24 outlet 6056 setup, and this is a three point mount. And I wanted to kind of show you guys how the calibration process works. So the first thing you would do is pull these levers down to lower the uh, venturis down so that you could get your catch tray slid in there. So in normal working scenario, this clear lid is over the top. You lift that up and then you lower the venturis so you can get your catch pan put in there. After that, on these three point mounts, Valmar has put in this really nice uh, catch tray that shoots the seed over here. Because the three point mount, there was not enough room in here to catch. So I've got a bucket hung real nicely on there. What this allows us to do is go inside the cab and calibrate with basically just one person and our buckets can catch all the seed. So we'll go in there and uh, we'll put seed in here and we'll tell it how much to put out. We'll collect it in each bucket and then weigh it and see what we come up with. So we'll jump in the cab here and run through an ISO screen real quick on a 2630. Okay guys, so we're in the tractor here looking at the, uh, the ISO screen and just want to run you through that here real quick. On, on this main home screen, these lines here show your sections. So you can turn your sections on and off, left and right. So you push your right section on and, uh, and off right there on those. Um, that's to manually do it. This off is your, uh, we've got a, an up and down whisker switch on this tool, so right now it's showing off. This is your target rate, that is your actual rate. This is your ground speed, your uh, roller RPMs, your metering roll RPMs, your fan RPMs. We go in here to the settings page and this is our product settings. Uh, our target rate again is 40 and then we just plug in a density of that product. You hit this catch icon and it brings us into calibration. Is the calibration tray ready? Yes, we just talked about that earlier. To start, press play and you tell it how many, we would first have to tell it how many pounds we want it to spit out into those buckets before we hit play and at what speed. So we would do that, we would catch it and weigh it, and we would see how close the computer is getting, and we would do that a few times until we got them dialed in. So basically, this is your home screen, uh, and it, it shows you everything you need to know, and you can run through all that stuff. And uh, yeah, everything's real right here. This uh, new controller for the ISOs is really easy to use. And uh, so yeah. That's what we've got today.